Hello and welcome back everyone to another tutorial on Tableau. This series of videos will help you take your skills from beginner to expert level in Tableau. Do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload any new video. In today's session we will see how to create dynamic bar charts in Tableau. Let me first show you the demo of what we will be doing today. Here I have a bar chart that currently shows sales for different categories. You will observe that here we have a plus sign that will allow user to expand the view. When we will click on this plus sign, then we will further get sales according to different regions for each of the category. If you want to expand further and see sales by any other dimensions, then we can just click on this plus sign again. So now further we are getting sales by different segments. So the view first gives us sales for different categories. Then within each category the sales are split according to different region. And then further within each region the view gives us sales for each of the segment. So we can drill down up to three levels. At the top I have three parameters. And these three levels are configured to these parameters. So we can select any dimension from these three parameters and accordingly the view will update. Currently the level 1 dimension is category, level 2 dimension is region and the level 3 dimension is segment. Now suppose a user wants to see sales first by region, then by category and lastly by segment. So we can select region from level 1 parameter select category from level 2 parameter and accordingly the view will update. If you want to collapse this view we can just click on this minus sign to collapse the view and just click on this plus sign again to expand the view. So the advantage of this chart is that it gives user freedom to see sales by different dimensions in a single chart. Now let's jump to Tableau and see how to create this dynamic bar chart. First we will create a parameter where we will give all the dimensions that are required. So click on the drop down, click on create parameter. Let's name it dimension 1. From the data type drop down select string click on list. First dimension that we want to show in the view will be category. Second will be region. Third one will be segment. And the last will be subcategory. Click on OK. I want to allow user to drill down to three dimensions. Uh, let me show you in another dashboard. So as you can see here that user can drill down up to three levels of dimension. So go back to the sheet. Click on the drop down. Click on uh, duplicate. Let's rename it. This will be dimension 2. Now we will create one more copy. Click on the drop down. Click on duplicate. And let's rename it to dimension 3. You can allow user to drill down to any number of dimensions according to your requirement. So suppose you want to allow user to drill down to 4 levels. Then you will have to create total of 4 copies of this parameter. Next we will create calculated fields where we will use these parameters. So click on the drop down. Click on create calculated field. Let's name it level 1. So here we will write down case the name of the parameter dimension 1 when 
category then we want to show category dimension when the parameter is selected to region then we want tableau to show region dimension when the value selected is segment then we want tableau to show segment dimension and lastly when the value selected is sub category then we want tableau to return sub category dimension and make sure to give the correct spellings of the dimension as you have given while creating the parameter click on okay now we will create a calculated field for dimension 2 so just duplicate this level 1 calculated field click on the drop down and click on edit let's name it level 2 here we will give dimension 2 and the same calculation will be there for level 2 click on okay now similarly we will create a calculated field for dimension 3 so click on the drop down click on duplicate now let's edit this calculated field name it level 3 here we will give dimension 3 click on okay last step is to create a hierarchy using these calculated fields that we have created that will allow user to expand or collapse the view by just clicking the plus and minus sign let me show you so here you will observe that we are getting these minus and plus sign to expand or collapse the view go back to the sheet so select all the calculated fields that we have created click on the drop down go to hierarchy click on create hierarchy and let's name it drill down click on okay make sure that the order of these calculated fields is correct first will be level 1 then will be level 2 and lastly level 3 now drag this level 1 to row shelf drag sales to the column shelf let's show all the parameters that we have created so select all the parameters click on the drop down and click on show parameter let's arrange the order uh dimension 1 will come at the top we want to see sales first by category then secondly we want to see sales by region and thirdly by segment now we are getting this plus sign just click on this plus sign to expand the view again click on this plus sign to expand the view till three levels the view gives us sales first by the category then the sales are further split by region and lastly in each region we can see sales for each of the segment let's turn on the labels by clicking on show marks label button let's hide the axis right click uncheck show header let's hide these column grid lines that we are getting here so right click click on format go to lines then go to columns from here select none for the grid lines Let's increase the size of these bars we can even update the title to clearly tell the user according to which dimension sales are visible in this view so double click on the title here we will write down sales by and add the three parameters first one will be dimension 1 next will be dimension 2 parameter and third one will be dimension 3 parameter let's separate these parameters by 
a pipe symbol click on ok now the title clearly tells us that the dimension that is selected from level 1 is category region is selected from level 2 and segment is selected from level 3 if you want to collapse the view then we can click on this minus sign so by just clicking on plus and minus sign we can simply expand or collapse the view so the advantage of this chart is that it gives user freedom to see sales by different dimensions in a single chart so basically you can select any dimension from these dimension parameters so this was all that i had to cover in this session i have added the link of this workbook in the description below thanks for watching this video i hope this session was helpful see you in the next tutorial